Hey, how is going guys as an air back out with another video I recently uploaded whether or not will the GTX 1080 Ti release and the GTX 1060 3 gig model is worth it or not I just deleted the video because I only kept that all of those interesting facts in just four minutes in a video and I didn't think that it was pretty adequate and informative so I just deleted it so in this video I want to stress only about the GTX 1063 gig model whether or not should you guys get it if you have that 200 to 250 dollar money with you or you wish should you go for the other AMD GPUs or any other aftermarket solutions so let's just get into that when Nvidia released their 1063 gigabyte model I was like what the shit why are you doing this Nvidia you just did with the 780 Ti and all of the Kepler GPUs with the 780 Ti 3 gig model and it's actually not you know 3 gig with a uh, new generation games they are not actually you know kind of worth it if you have that $200 money with you definitely go get the AMD's RX 470's 4 gig model because it has 4 gig 3 gig model actual digital foundry Richard from digital foundry explained it about uh, all the stutters and all the issues which is due to the 3 gig model in Ryzen 2 Red Assassin's Creed Unity when it was running at a bit higher resolutions at 14 14p and even in maxed out settings at 1080p I will link that right below the like button so definitely be sure to check that out the 3 gig model is not gonna be the best after one year the 3 gig model is not gonna you know allow you to at least keep a very high preset because the games are getting more and more demanding even the 4 gig video cards are will be get uh, like not able to play at uh, really good resolutions and really good settings like very high preset or maxed out at 1080p or 1440p very high preset is not gonna like in Assassin's Creed Syndicate when they're running on the GTX 970 4 gig video card well 3.5 whatever I'm gonna post a video on that whether that 3.5 gig video a video card memory allocation is that still a problem because I found a solution for that so stay tuned for that and subscribe to get the video as soon as I upload it a GTX 970 when maxed out at GTA 5 it consumed 3.7 gigs of video RAM out of 4 alright 3.7 gigs and in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, maxed out at 1080p, it consumed 4 gigs complete. It was actually 4.01 uh, or 4.02 gigs. And, well, there was no stuttering, but still, the difference in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, it was more new game. It still consumed more than the GTA 5, probably because of optimization problems and other things. Let's just leave that out of the way. But you can just think the Assassin's Creed Syndicate was released off the ground of Toto 5, and when maxed out at 1080p, it consumed 4 gigs complete, and Grand of Toto 5, it consumed 3.7 gigs, even though Grand of Toto 5 has lots of other settings to tweak in width. So that's so if just think with a three gigabyte video card and that to a, this much horsepower the GTX 1060 has a wonderful graphic card you're getting actually a GTX 980 performance. But if it was actually four gigabyte card and video, if it was actually four gigabyte card, it would have been at least very good future proofing our PC. But a three gig model card. Actually, the uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider when running on the 14, 14p with very high textures, even at 1080p, very high textures, very high preset, everything very high. There was a little bit of stutters in uh, many parts of the game because the 3 gig was actually consumed, and that causes the stutters not because of the CPU bottlenecking and all of this stuff. The 3 gig was actually consumed, and when you go to MSI After Bonus uh, graph, we can see that the GPU usage was hovering, like it was causing lots of stutters. So the question is this, should you actually get a GTX 1060's 3 gig model? Let's say you have a money with you like $250 and you want to get really a good graphic card, uh, you want a good performance, you want good video memory, you want to get uh, like future proofing your PC. If you want to future proof your PC, definitely AMD is the best choice and the RX 470's 8 gig model or the RX 480's 4 gig model is no joke for $240 to $200 they both are the best choice in game in case of future proofing a pc well in case of performance you can see the gtx 1060s 6 gig model and the rx 480s 4 gig or 8 gig let's take the perspective a 4 gig model we happen to see only 5 to 10 fps difference barely 5 to 10 fps 
Then comes the Vulcan and DirectX 12. They're just right on the corner and they're going to be implemented in each and every game at the end of 2016 or the start or mid of 2017. That's guaranteed. And Doom running on the Vulcan API RX 470 actually defeated the GTX 1060 6 gig model by 5 to 6 FPS. So it's better even though now the performance of the AMD cards are a little bit less. It's better to get a little bit more in the future but not compensating anything on the price and getting really good visual effects on 14. 14 be very high preset. You're going to get 40 to 55 FPS. Pretty good. And now if you want better performance, don't get the GTX 1060 3 gigabyte model. It's actually a really good advice. Don't get that guys. Never get the 3 gigabyte model because you just regret uh, you'll just regret when you become like an year after you'll be thinking that oh my god I can't play at ultra settings or very high settings. It just gets stutters. So that's a thing. If you don't if you still want that kind of GTX 1060s power just keep uh, some more money on that budget and just get a GTX 1066 gigabyte model for 270 to 260 dollars. That's actually worth it and it will actually be there for three to four years after. So this is the last thing. Don't get the GTX 1063 gigabyte model even if it's for 200 dollars. Don't get that. Never get the RX 470's 4 gigabyte model from MSI's Gaming X or Gigabyte uh, G1 Gaming or power color sapphire or everything i if it was me having 200 to 250 dollar range i would definitely get the amd gpus because i definitely like to future proofing my pc amd cards are the best for the price the best example for that when the AMD, uh, when nvidia released their gtx 96 970 for 350 dollars evga super clock edition on and 390s msi gaming ag was less than that and the performance was better specifications was better that's what amd does and it still has async compute engines that makes pretty much damn awesome for future proofing your pc anyway guys that's for this definitely be sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out